Honestly, um, not all the time it distracts me. Um, there's only some moments uh, where, let's say, the environment's really quiet, it's a huge bowl coming up, it's a, you know, many people watching the game. You can kind of pick up on people walking past a bit often, but say if you're playing in a club championship or a centre event or something like that, I mean, for me personally, I don't really notice it so much. Um, but in the event, it is a time when I do notice it. Um, just stop, restart, pre-shot routine, try it again um, and just refocus. Yeah, um, I mean, if it's a cat, I'm, I'm best believe I'm gone. I'm going to cuddle that cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were, you were. I love cats. Um, no, but in all seriousness, like, I think it does come down to what kind of mental state you're in as well. So if you're in a, in a bit of a zone, I find that it's quite easy to block out distractions. Whereas if you're already irritated about something, quite often you'll be quite hyper aware of other things that mm. might annoy you. Um, so it kind of comes down to what Selena says is just coming back to your process and trying to refocus and bring that back. And I know personally, it's something you can bring into your training. Um, I've trained with stones in my shoe to try and distract me and practice bring back that focus just because you don't know what a game might throw at you. And um, yeah, you just gotta get used to it really and, and try your best to not let it affect your bowls for too long.